Hello again. It's been quite a while since we've done a video because we've been very busy. What we've got here is um, a small little program written in Fusion 360 just to do a, a NEMA 23 step amount. Nothing elaborate, not being optimized. We're not used to uh, using machines with very slow spindles, but we just thought we'd do a quick video because we've got a lot of people asking us to show the machines cutting. This is the smaller of our two machines, the MM25L, which um, again, the specifications are on our website, but uh, what we're gonna do, we've set up the, uh, the drilling, we've zeroed the plate and we're gonna start cutting and then what we'll show is a tool change halfway through to see what, how the software works. Thank you very much. Right, we've pressed uh, start on the machine. Now what it's asking us to do is basically, we will show the screens when we've got some time and we do it here, but what we've got is it's asked us to turn the spindle on and set the speed to a thousand in this occasion. Again, this is just, um, written on this on the Mac 3 screen so you can see what you've set it in your program and then we'll just now should be able to just, just press enter again not optimized just a simple drilling that's few three Fusion 360 decided was a good one. These are 3.3 millimeter um, drill holes with a stub drill, so we don't need to do any kind of pre-drilling. You haven't got um, an airline set up, uh, air automatic on this for the moment, so we'll just use a hand airline. What it's saying on the screen is, um, it's just giving us a warning that one of our, the, the, the thingy, so what we'll do is we'll just turn off the spindle, and then we'll turn. We're just cleaning down the bed because obviously the tool changer won't work properly if we've got uh, chips underneath the wireless tool height. So again, just describing what's on the screen, it says change the tool and uh, press enter when finished. So what we'll do is I'll just pause this for a second. We've just changed this tool now to a uh, carbide two flute 12 mil um, just so what we'll do is we'll press enter it's just asking us now to make sure that we have actually tightened up the thingy for sanity check what it's doing now is it's coming down obviously on there is other video there is another video showing the tool change uh, but now what it's going to do is just come down at 300 mil came down faster for the first bit Again, these are all predetermined by the user. It's now going down at 20 millimeters per minute just to get an accurate reading we'll Just remove the wireless tool height so it doesn't get dirty And 
now we're going to have to press uh, start to start the program again and on the screen it's asking us to set the spindle on and set it to 2200 which we've just done and then we should better now just press OK on the screen Again, we haven't got any air, air assist or any misting or, or suds, so we'll just just use a small airline just for a little bit. This is our demo machine. If we were using it for production, we would permanently fit an airline or a mister on it. I don't think we would actually use suds, but again, that's at the user discretion. Now you can see this is actually cutting as a climb cut. And it's spiraling down um, and it's going down at an angle to reduce wear on the tool. It is now side cutting to make the hole larger, which is the indent for the stepper. We have this set for 400 millimeters a minute. Again, people using these machines will be able to optimize it. But hopefully you can see that we've got a beautiful finish. And what we haven't done on this program is we haven't done a finishing cut. We just thought we'd show you how it cuts and um, you know doing a reasonably good depth of cuts and side cut. But we're not going to do a finishing cut because um, obviously, hopefully, you'd be able to get a much better finish. But we virtually get a mirror finish with the climb, so we didn't see any points at this time. If I had misting on here, we obviously would go a lot faster. The machine hasn't got a guard, it's been removed, as you can see here. And that's purely and simply just because to make it easier for you to see what's happening. But we are standing behind the screen. I'm sure there's plenty of um, our customers and um, machinists will be able to optimize this code and make it a lot better. But again, this is just what we did with Fusion, just knocked it up for 10 minutes. Using Fusion 360, of course, because we're now cutting on the side. We're getting less wear on the tip of the tool. It's now going to go and do the clearance hole for, um, so you can put the motor on and have a coupling, etc. But this size of hole, you would determine yourself. We're producing reasonable good sized chips here. We're not we're not producing dust um, and the machine is not jamming or 
sticking anywhere basically um, you know which um, considering we're doing a climb cut you can see that the machine is rigid enough with the ball screws to do an exceptionally good cut never nice recutting the chips that you've already cut so I'll have the airline on just for a little bit you look at all our other videos we also always use air assist on all our production machines but if I just stop for a second you can see these are good sized chips Of course if the chips are like this you actually you know take away a lot of the heat from the part this is going to go down to about 10.2 millimeters to uh, make sure it goes past the bottom of the tool and the reason we've gone a little bit deeper um, is basically so that the side cut is not on the tip so we're actually making sure we're trying to even out the wear we're at nearly eight millimeters now obviously the deeper it gets the more we need to keep the airline on As you can see with the semi-automatic tool change, it's, you know, it could make your life a lot easier when you've got programs with four, five, six different tool changes and not having to try and re-zero uh, your parts, especially if you've skimmed the surface, etc. or you're machining um, a lot of surfaces so you don't have a good reference point anymore. You can hear me now just getting ready to go through the bottom. And now you can hear the sound change. Now basically what that is, is we're now doing a side cut. Again, this code was generated uh, by Fusion 360, adaptive. Um, I'm sure we'll get better at understanding the um, feeds and speeds. And as I said, you can, I don't know if you can really see it very clear, but you can see, I will bring the them over but you can see that we're getting for a climb cut we're getting a beautiful mirror finish obviously if you were not looking to uh, make this hot you, this hole here could just be shaft size so if you've got a 12 mil shaft or a half inch shaft, you could just do maybe 13, 14, 14 mil hole. No need to make this large. Um, this is so that we can put the stepper motor on with the coupling on. Now it's just finished. Now what we're going to do is just turn off the spindle. And what we'll do is we'll lift the head up. Just to hopefully give you a better view, what we'll do is we'll just take the... Oh, just so you can see here, we have two parallels and we have uh, just a small bit of foam. That just stops the parallels moving and coming in, especially if they moved in when you were cutting all the way through, you could actually try and chew into the parallel. But you can see they're very firmly held. Or you can, as firm as you need it to be. Okay, so if you now look at this, hopefully you can see it, but um, I'm going to just do it. I think you can see that it's a good finish, top and bottom. I say for um, this kind of machine to be able to climb cut, I think that's a, a, an achievement we're very proud of.
Thank you for your time, and um, hopefully we'll do another video. We'll hopefully be doing some videos on Fusion 360 on how to set it up for Mac 3, because we know that um, we've read a lot of customers have problems with this. Thank you very much. And if you are having um, problems with um, setting up um, the post processor, drop us a line in the comments and we'll look and see if we can do a video to help you. And also, if you'd like to like and sub subscribe to the channel, we'd be very grateful. Thank you very much for your time.